Hey everyone, I'm Raz the Razplay, and today is the day I have finally had enough. This goblin tinkerer right here has overcharged me for the last time, and I'm sick and tired of having clothiers that aren't named James, so today, we're gonna craft ourselves the fly meal. That's right, here I am in my NPC housing, stuck between a sharpening station and a merchant that won't give me enough deals. I'm sorry, Louie, but it's time to go. Today, we're gonna craft the fly meal, but before we get there, as always, make sure you subscribe to the channel right now. We need your subscriptions. Make sure you get that done. Drop a like, comment down below, hit the bell notification, and check out that description. Now, let's read from the wiki, shall we? The fly meal is a broadsword with the unique ability to damage friendly NPCs. It also inflicts the stinky buff, although this effect is purely cosmetic. So, today we're going to show you how to craft a fly meal, and then we're going to use it because, well, I'm a bad person. So, you ready to go? All right, let's check out that recipe. All right, so let's get to that recipe, but quickly, before we do, this right here is the Guide to Critter Companionship. It prevents you from hurting critters while in the inventory. So, we're going to grab that from the zoologist, put that in our inventory. That way, as we're looking around and trying to, you know, wipe out grass blades and stuff like that, we don't accidentally hurt a critter. Am I doing a video on how to harm NPCs? and making sure we don't harm critters? Yes, because I'm a monster. Now, that recipe for the fly meal is either a gold broadsword or a platinum broadsword and five stink bugs. Now, to get stink bugs, they are critters. You find them running around the ground, got it? Uh, there's a there's a whole math section here on you know how they spawn, when they spawn, where they spawn, who they spawn, why they spawn. We're not gonna get into that. What I'm gonna tell you is that they spawn on the surface. It's gotta be one second. Let me read this up here. They gotta spawn on the surface when it's not raining. The player is on the surface, not in a graveyard, and the wind speed is lower than 20 miles per hour. So having said that, if all those parameters are set, you can find yourself a stink bug. Now I'm gonna run back and forth like crazy with my. I got my gold bug net right there. We're gonna take out all the grass blades. We're gonna see what hops around. We're gonna catch some critters, and I'll see what I got in about. Yeah, give me five ten minutes. All right, good. All right, so change of plans here. So I tried to run around a little bit. And I didn't see any stink bugs. So what we're going to do is we're going to hang out by a spot. Because now I'm thinking that if there's a, a tie-in between stink bugs and butterflies for world spawns. So and butterflies usually spawn close to spawn. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a water candle. I've never used a water candle at spawn before. But I'm going to leave it there for now. And we're going to use a battle potion. And I will let that run for the seven minutes, eight minutes that it's supposed to run for. And we're going to come back. And then we'll see how many stink bugs we caught. So we're going to hang out by a spawn. Water candle, battle potion. Got my bug net right. Whoa, 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 whoa. Get back over here. What are you doing? Got my bug net right here. And we'll see what we can catch. Sound good? Good. All right. So after a great deal of research and waiting, and by that I just mean waiting for a long time, I finally got myself, as you can see, five stink bugs. So the stink bug will not spawn if the butterfly spawns. So what you have to do is your best bet is to take a water candle, put it down right there, Ignore the whole idea for a battle potion. Don't use that because it just takes a long time. So what you're going to do, you use your water candle and then you stand here and then you zoom out like this. Ready? You go zoom out like that. And then you just wait forever until they show up. And you'll see them flying around. So you don't need to break grass or nothing. See, there's one right there. So we're going to walk over now. Perfect timing, little stink bug friend. Drop on down. And there we go. So that is what you do. The easiest way to do it. Just stand still. Drop a water candle. Make sure it's less than 20 miles per hour for wind. And hope for the best. Got it? Good. Now, let's show you, finally, how to craft the fly meal. All right, so to craft the fly meal, what you need is you need eight platinum bars and five stink bugs. As you can see, we have six. But before we get there, <laughs> sharpen that up. Now, let's head on down here. And when you get to the anvil, you go to crafting. And there you go right there. Platinum broadsword. Make sure you get the right one. Platinum broadsword. Oh, there you go. You drop that in there. And then go to crafting again. And, hmm. All right, so I have been informed that the fly meal needs to be crafted on honey. I did not know that. So what we're going to do, well, before we do that, though, if you read the tool tip there, best used for pranking townsfolk. You know, Red, murder isn't exactly a prank, but I like your style. Anyway, best used for murdering townsfolk makes others smell like cilantro. Hmm, we you know some people love cilantro, some people hate cilantro. Anyway, ready? Let's do fly meal and uh there we go. So we've got the fly meal now. Now the question is, what does the fly meal do? Well, let me show you. Alright, so here we are, we've got our fly meal equipped, we're next to the guide here, and the reason why you want the fly meal is some of the NPCs actually have really cool drops. So if you take them out, you get the cool drops. So come here, come here. Oh, it makes fart noises. I didn't even know that. So you're gonna come over here, you're gonna attack. Now if I had a feral claw, that would be automatic, right? Probably. Why, the guy was slain. Where is our little friend, the mushroom guy? Come here. Get over. Ah, ha, ha. So, yeah, so what you'll do is you'll basically go through your world, attack all of your NPCs until they give you cool stuff. And if they don't, you wait till they respawn and do it again. Sound good? Good. Now, let's wrap this up. 
All right, so there you go. That is how to craft a fly meal. That's how to get your stink bugs. That's how to equip it. And that's how to make the princess go bye byes Bye. And, oh, you can hit the slimes too. I don't like that. Oh, there we go. Okay, there we go. Oh, she left. See you later. Anyway, so there you go. That is how to craft a fly meal and use one more. Okay, one more. One more. It's fine. Sharpen that. Thank you. And you give me... Nothing. Well, you're just a monster. Anyway, so there you go. That is how to use your fly meal, craft the fly meal, find a stink bug, and all the fun things. Now, as always, if I've helped you out, make sure you hit subscribe on the channel right now, hit the bell notification, all the other fun stuff. Thank you for watching. That was a great time. And now I have to wait for them to respawn and then do it all again. Take care. I'll see you next time. Ciao.